What's going on, Cracktube? It is uh, Sunday, the 29th of July. And uh, as every Sunday, I have help. What's up, guys? Hi. Say hi to the, to the YouTube audience out there. Hi, Cracktube. So, uh, a little work never hurt anybody. I did this when I was their age. Um, so, right now, where are we at? Well, we've gotten about six inches of rain or so over the past week. We've been, kind of went from monsoon season to uh, a, a drought right back into monsoon season. And I am having a hell of a job getting hay cut. Still having a hard time finding help. Um, yeah, everyone should say these guys could probably unload hay, but not quite at that point yet. So... We've been kind of keeping busy with some other stuff, just doing a little maintenance stuff, and it's really not a whole hell of a lot of anything, really. we real quiet. Um, did have two new calves born um, from, uh, from last video. Uh, Psycho had a calf, and Oreo had a calf. Now, Psycho decided to try and steal Oreo's calf because... Um, Psycho is, like her name suggests, psychotic. Um, so Psycho stole Oreo's calf, and then Oreo wouldn't accept her calf because... Where the hell are you going? You can't escape. Get back here! This is costing you back dollars. Damn kids. Anyway, um, Psycho stole Oreo's calf, cleaned it off, and... Uh, kind of cleaned as her own uh oreo you get back to work there boy give me a raise no make it 25 cents no deal 15 deal. that's how that works so <laughs> oreo had her calf and psycho stole it and uh, cleaned it off and got her smell over it. So Oreo wouldn't actually bond with her calf. So what I did is I locked her and the calf inside one pen overnight. And luckily enough, they uh, they did manage to bond again. So that's a good good sign. And that night, or that I should say, the next very next morning, Psycho dropped her calf. And um, Well, you know, all's well. Healthy bull calf. Uh, Oreo had a nice little heifer calf. Um, thing is that Psycho got caught up. You want me to uh, dump that for you? Yeah, he'll. All right, here. Here, just, just here. Take this. Keep recording. All right, so you got shit in your hands. Big deal. It happens. Make sure you... Oh. Uh, all right. That's how we, that's how we deal with our problem here. He's a monster. We do look alike. We do not look alike. I'm hoping I did that way because I just turned the face like that way and I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that actually faces too. Yeah, we'll figure it out, don't worry. So, very next day, oh, Oreo's calf, that. Oreo's calf is outside. I'll get him. No, you leave her alone. Why not? You leave that calf alone. Why? Will she attack you? <laughs> We're going to get to that part of the story, Lu Lucas. Don't worry. It's coming up. So, her calf kind of got stuck under the hay feeder. So, I went out being, trying to be a responsible farmer that I am and save what, you know, could be a chunk of money at some point in time, hopefully. Got the calf out from underneath the feeder. And cycle came over and decided to go after me. I've never had one of my cows go after me before. That's the first time for me. She gave me a real good shot, center of the chest. Um, still a little sore. This was Friday she got me. 
Thursday morning, Thursday morning or Friday she got me, and I'm, I'm still a little sore. Um, so, yeah, the kids are kind of banned from going in there right now, and I'm not going in there without a cane and possibly somebody else to help me. Um, a little scary, I'm going to be honest with you. I've, I've never had that happen before, first time for me in all the years I've been working around cows and dealing with cows i've ever had an angry mama come after me and psycho is usually uh, unlike her name implies pretty chill you know she's actually a pretty friendly cow but and she's had you know three other calves or four of the calves never had a problem first time so <sighs> the hell is this thing crawling on me oh, two bugs are mating on my arm what the hell why aren't you working i ain't paying you to stand there you're not paying me at all Shut up. Doesn't matter. Go to work. Experience points, boy. Experience points. That's how it works. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I suppose let me uh, get these kids cracking. They do a good job. I can't. I can't say. You know, they 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 come in here once a week. That's all I have them is once a week, and uh, they take right to it. So, hey, Dad? yes, sir. What is a cow eating rope? What cow is eating rope? That one. She's an idiot. White face one? Yeah. She's an idiot. It's Rosie. So we're going to end this video right now and we'll get back with you later. Bye. Hey guys, Steve here with a handy summer tip. Now, as summer plods on, you're going to notice that things down below there are getting a little sweaty. I'm going to help you remedy that right now. Powder your nuts. It's going to help you right now. I'm going to tell you here. It'll keep your nuts out from sticking to your thighs. Keep you a little fresher down there. Drier. And everything else. Um, use this a couple times a day. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the medicated version. So it's menthol. So it's going to burn a little bit but you put it on. But you put it on. Injury beer like a real man. It's Helpful Tips with Steve. We'll see you.